Hey, welcome to the McGuire Review, and today we're going to be taking a look at Boss Monster's new Paper and Pixels mini expansion pack. Again, guys, I've done a review on Boss Monster. I've done a review on Boss Monster 2. This is by far my favorite card game that's out there today. And when I just went to Origins, I saw that they had this Boss Monster Paper and Pixels a uh, very small card pack expansion available. They do have another expansion, a larger expansion that's going to be coming up here for Gen Con. It's got a whole new um, treasure type. It's got kind of an alien theme to it. I actually got one of the promo cards and had it signed by one of the game creators. I was super excited about that. But I wanted to show you just really quick here what you can expect to get in this smaller expansion that they do have available now. So if we pull the cards out there, there's one... Uh, new rules uh, card. It's just a front and a back card, and it kind of goes over uh, some of the some of the new rules as well as there's a random damage um, that's going to happen in this in these expansion cards uh, plus one counters. So let's talk about that for a second here with random damage and plus one counters. So it indicates on this card here that. Uh, and I'll just read it right here. New rules. The Paper and Pixel Pack is an all-new set of cards originally designed for the Boss Monster app for tablet and PC. These cards feature some unique new mechanics that work seamlessly in the digital game, but require accessories if you're using them for tabletop play. So what does that mean? Basically, all that means is when you use some of these cards, and you can shuffle these into either your Boss Monster 2 or your Boss Monster 1 decks, um, again, my recommendation, I've always kept these separate because I feel like they have a very good uh, different feel and different gameplay, so I do keep mine separate. I have never combined these decks. So you can add these into um, whatever game that you'd like. There's uh, various cards in here that actually uh, you're going to need something to indicate uh, a timer. You may have to say, okay, it can only do it one time or two times or three times, and you're going to be able to have to indicate that in some way. So, you, I mean, you could use a coin, you could use a, a die, you can use whatever you want, but you're going to need something to kind of be your counter for that card. Then the other thing is it introduces some random damage. So you're going to need a six-sided die to be able to roll that die to indicate what the damage is going to be. And that's really all it means here on any accessories that you would need to be able to play some of these cards. So, no big deal. So if we look at the cards here, we got a new Epic Hero, uh, The Princess. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to spoil everything that are on the cards, but I will will tell you it's it's the princess. That's nice. We got a three new boss cards, and these bosses are pretty cool. Again, I don't want to um, totally spoil all these, but I will show you Explodo. Um, he's a he's a very cool new boss, and I'll have pictures of all these um, up front here. And then there's going to be uh, two new spells. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new room decks. And you can see those there. So you get eight new room decks, you get two new spells, you get three new bosses, and you get one new epic hero. Uh, and again, uh, you will want to have yourself some form of a counter as well as a die to roll that damage. So... Nice job on this, guys. I love these small expansions that add sort of a little extra flavor to already a great game. Loving the addition of bringing in the accessories, especially the die. I mean, could that mean we might be getting a boss monster board game out into the future? It'd be phenomenal. Uh, please, please give that to us. So hit that like button below like it's your job. Click below to subscribe and join the McGuire clan. This has been the McGuire Review. I'll see you guys later.